What is up, you bunch of slamtastic mother suckers? This is OBB, the Diecast News Guy, and welcome everybody to another NASCAR Authentics Diecast review for y'all. And this is going to be on a car that you will be able to be to pick up on the newest Cracker Barrel Wave for 2023 Wave One, and also for the brick and mortar stores, Target, Walmart, and Macy's. We got ourselves a car that you can also get that's exclusive, along with the Josh Berry car that I recently reviewed from Wave Two of NASCAR Authentics 2023. And with that out of mouth flaw, I'm Probably might as well go ahead and sign up for the WWE because we are going to hear and we are going to be talking about the one and only Mr. Daniel Suarez in his 2022, you know, I'm going to say it's <gasps> Slam Chevrolet Camaro for the NASCAR Cup Series and track house racing. Yeah. And the reason why I only did that because the exclamation mark, you know, what's the purpose of having that if you can't just say Slam? So, <laughs> So, rest in peace to anyone who thinks this is probably cringy, because it probably is, but I really don't care, because, heck, <laughs> we were just here to review diecasts, and that's all that matters. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and start off the unboxing, the official diecast review of the Daniel Schwarz 2022 Slam car. And already, guys, we got this diecast out of its box, and, yeah, this is definitely a car I was not expecting to see in NASCAR Authentics. I mean, this car was originally offered in the Gold Series, and it was a one-off paint scheme that he only ran at uh, for, I believe it was at New Hampshire. And, uh, yeah, I mean, um, <laughs> it, it's definitely a forgettable car, I will say that. I mean, I do like you know, the colors of it because, you know, I'm pretty biased with my channel colors, so I love the representation right there of the black, red, and uh, white. So, oh, it took me a second to realize what color that was. <laughs> it's blue, but, uh, um... As you can see, of course, you know, this ain't going to be the most perfect die cast. As this car has a wobbly uh, freaking interior. Look at that. That window net is moving. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> ah, damn. At least we got detail on these things. They actually look cool. Look, a steering wheel and not a steering block, kids. But, yeah, I mean, <laughs> when I first saw this car, I was like, wait a minute. This is this like a freaking WWE car? Because, I don't know, I just looked at that. I was like, that looks like something you see on WWE. Because, like, here comes a slam. But... <laughs> And then right there, we got ourselves Ramirez uh, grow with us. But I believe this is a, I, for anybody who does not know what Slam is, as I'm going to probably stop saying that now because that's going to get old real quick. Uh, but I believe that this is, as you guys know, Trackhouse Racing is owned by not only Justin Marks, but also with Mr. 305 or 365 or the hell you want to call him. So you can tell, I haven't really listened to him in a while, but <laughs> Mr. Pitbull. And um, yeah, he. this is actually, I guess this is like supposed to be like a, a charter school program that I guess he started, um, which is, a, is an acronym, I guess, for like sports leadership um, and art management or something like that. So really cool. Really cool that, you know, I mean, it kind of goes well with Daniel Schwartz as well, because I believe that this school does target uh, minorities as well, which is really nice. I really do like that. And and, um, yeah, I guess just all for a good cause, man. I mean, heck, you know, that is pretty cool. Of course, we're going to see some Pitbull uh, funding coming in this car. Um, for anybody who uh, is not aware, yeah, we were it. We also did got the uh, Pitbull diecast released in NASCAR Authentics, but that was on a PTC mold, which, yeah. All I can say is this car has a lot more greater detail than what that thing is. So, we'll just refer to it as that. But, yeah, I mean, it's definitely going to be a paint scheme that I think a lot of people will be like, well, you know, it's cool and all, but it doesn't blow me away. Like the comp scope car or, you know, uh, the freeway car, which I understand. But it is a one of a kind. And I do like how the hood levers actually, you know, it actually look really nice on this mold. Really, really nice. Very predominant. But, yeah, like I said, the paint scheme is mostly all over the place. It kind of has some similarities with the Ross Chastain, um, you know, be a moose fraternity car. Just a little bit. But, of course, this is not the chrome number because that is something we only get in the gold series. Uh, white interiors and no window banners as well because that is all for the caught for cutting costs but heck you know it can only and always will be worse but very thankful that this car and the josh berry car were not on the blurry decals uh seems like lionel and the el factory probably learned their lesson about that so but yeah in terms of getting this car i, I would say you, you could probably pass on it but since it is a one-off scheme and this is the only way you could get this in the one season scale I would probably say go out again. I mean, heck, you know, the only thing that was memorable about this car is probably, I think, what, like, uh, like I said, he raced at New Hampshire and I got a top 10 out of it. Um, I think he did a 9 for 99, I believe. So, <laughs> but I believe that this car is only mostly well known for uh, just barely getting around and basically getting a front row seat of what was uh, Kyle Busch's uh, DeWalt car. <laughs> he literally spun out in the front stretch. Um, and ironically, that car has blurry decals, so I don't know if that was just, I don't know, just. Uh, you know, 
I don't know if that was just bad luck predictor uh, or predicament or what, but yeah, so you can definitely tell I feel like my forehead has been slammed a few times after saying that sentence. <laughs> but in all honesty, guys, yeah, I would say get this car. Even though it doesn't wow you and be like, okay, you know, it's something that, it's not like the Josh Berry car where it's like, I have to have it. I think a lot of people are still going to like this car, and plus, there's a lot of Schwarz fans that are uh, probably would like to see die cat, uh, see more diecast uh, being re released and reviewed. And heck, this is your opportunity, man. So, um, yeah, that's all I got to say right there. So, don't want to waste you guys any more time about that because uh, as my country is starting to come out now. <laughs> but hope you guys enjoyed this diecast review of the Daniel Schwarz 2022 Slam Chevrolet Camaro for the NASCAR Cup Series and Trackhouse Racing. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, and this has been OBB. Um, check out my shop. I have a lot of cool merch now, so um, really will help me out, guys. Um, and yeah, again, just can't thank you guys enough with these diecast reviews. It does mean a lot to me because <laughs> without you guys, I don't know what I would do without these videos. Um, so yeah, with that in mind, guys. Keep uh, staying tuned for a lot of cool content, and we'll be back in the reunion station very soon. And uh, yeah, slam dunk, baby. <laughs>